we missed our flight by three by minutes. Three minutes. You could try to tie me down. You could try to wear me out. Pull me out of the rain. Just gas on the flame. But you can't control. But you can't control. You could try to tame the wild. You could try to blame this child. Try to medicate me. Call lady. We are getting on this tram. Tram 13. We're now sitting in the airport, uh, just waiting for our flights to go to Norway. So the original plan was actually to move to a warmer country, but unfortunately when we woke up today, everything changed and the reason why was because all the flights that I'd, I'd looked at yesterday had now tripled in price. So if you ever find a good price, make sure you book it that, e that evening because everything can change in the next couple of hours. So now we are doing the original plan, which is go to Norway and then from Norway we'll probably go to Gutenberg which is in Sweden and then from Sweden we might go to Denmark but the, those two routes are still not planned we're not sure where we're going to stay tonight whether we're going to stay in Sandrefjord which is where we land in Norway or whether we're going to take a bus from there to go to Oslo so it's going to be a heck of a day today because uh, this is by far the most unplanned and uncertain day that we've had so far on this trip So we've got a lot of chairs, everyone's getting cushy on. If you come by yourself, they've got these little individual chairs with a great view onto the tarmac. There is a private business room that you can chill in. They've got computers. Obviously everyone's favorite place to go. That's poppy seed and cheese, sand and cacao cake. They even give you some nice sweets. Nick is really digging in to all the food they have on offer. We just noticed our thing said final call. Rushing to our gate again. We're in the lounge, it's just so comfortable. So now we're just speeding off because the final call is calling. <laughs> We missed our flight by three, by minutes. three minutes and they wouldn't let us on because the bus had already left to the, to the, to plane. the plane so there's no way they can get us on so now we are stuck in Krakow I don't know why he looks so happy I'm just so irritated <laughs> it's fine. we were in the lounge and we were just picking it out and we missed it I'm so irritated myself <laughs> We ate too much food. <laughs> and in the lounge, they turn off the announcement, so there's no announcement, so we didn't even know we were being called. It's okay. Well, at least we got a lot of food because this flight is only $5 each, so it wasn't that bad. We'll just find another flight out, so we'll probably stay in Krakow as the original plan I had yesterday, which was we we're going to fly out on Monday, so maybe on Monday I can fly, find a find a country where we can go to that's actually warm and then we don't have to worry about yeah but we definitely won't miss our flight on Monday Nick is currently finding us another flight or another something because we're now at the airport with nowhere to go so we are trying to get back into the city and we missed the first bus as we're missing everything today um, so we're trying to run to the bus stop to hopefully find out when the next one will be. There we go. We just made it on the bus and it's just leaving with seconds to spare. 2.08, hope it's this one. And then Nick's gonna go buy some tickets. Lucky there's ticket stations on the bus. Buy our tickets. This 
It's actually snowing nicely today. I know. So we finally made it to our our place. Yeah. I'll give you guys a big tip: if you ever want to stay in a decent place, don't let Tamron book the place for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Honestly, okay. I don't, don't trust Sam booking up there. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, it's been a long day. It's been a wild adventure. We literally just went from our apartment, our apartment to the train to the airport to the lounge to have some lunch and then from the lounge back on the train back to another apartment that Tamron booked so that was a whole day it was e uneventful but eventful it was not eventful it was a very long day for some reason <laughs> we didn't actually hey, do anything missing a plane is eventful but at least we managed to book our flight out um, so we will be going to Greece. We will not miss this flight. I said, Nick, we will pack a little little goodie bag at the at the lounge and we will take it with us and not have a second serving of food. I actually have never ever thought we'd miss a flight. Yeah. Like I'd always wonder how people miss their flights. And today, I don't know how we missed our flight. Because we were those people. Most people miss their flights because they, they couldn't get to the airport on time. We were at the airport for like three hours before <laughs> our flight and we still missed our flight so uh, yeah I don't know how, how it happened but it happened so life happens we're gonna go out and get some food now and then um, do some work because we, we haven't done anything today and then um, we'll call it a day for, from here we'll see you guys tomorrow peace Look how many lights they have <laughs> in one room. <laughs> and then from Norway, we're going to go to Riga. <laughs> <laughs>